morning. Happy Monday. It's Monday again. I love Mondays. Fresh start to the week, a little bit of rejuvenation over the weekend. Even if it's just accomplishing things that you needed to do around your house and they're done, it's always good to wake up feeling like you you got done what you said you were going to get done. So that's how my weekend was. So I was excited about that. But happy Monday. It is time to get real. Are we ready? I think we are. So I'm going to share probably more than you ever want to know. I'm about to get really real about my life. Tomorrow, I'm getting a colonoscopy. <laughs> You guys, I'm old enough to need one. Um, I'm 47, and usually you don't have to get one until 50, but my mom had uh, colon cancer a few years ago, and she's fine. Everything's fine. But because it runs in my family, I need to, to go get one now. And, and it's not that I mind that. What I mind is what I have to eat the day before I have to go get this test. And I don't know about you, but if if I'm told to eat something or like if I'm not excited about what I eat or what I get to eat, then I feel deprived and sad. Have you ever have you ever started a diet? Okay, you call it a diet and you're thinking all I'm going to be able to eat is chicken and broccoli and lettuce and you're just immediately sad and you immediately just want something else and you're thinking i'm never going to be able to do this and maybe five days in a row you eat your your fruit and eggs for breakfast and your salad for lunch and your chicken and broccoli for dinner and you there's no treats and nothing to look forward to and then like day six you find yourself like eating dinner and even though you're not hungry you're looking through the cupboard or or just searching for something else to eat do you guys ever do that yeah it's because you're not satisfied with what you're eating. And I, it's been a, a long time for me. I gave up feeling deprived a long time ago and I gave up not enjoying my food a long time ago. Um, but I'm reminded of that today because I am so sad about what I have to eat today to do this colon prep. And so that's what we're talking about. Feeling deprived and being sad about what you have to eat. So I don't get to eat any real food which makes me crazy because I eat all the time. I get to eat Jell-O, so barf. I don't even like Jell-O, but I already had one for breakfast that makes me gag. Apple juice, I don't like juice. It make, it. I, I don't get juice. I mean, to me, it doesn't even taste that good and it doesn't fill your stomach up and it's just like loaded with sugar. I don't care if it's 100% juice or not. To me, it offers me nothing, So, but I get to drink juice I can drink pop, so I'm going to have a Coke just so that I have something because, again, I want to cry my eyes out because I can't eat. I can have water, which is great. I can have coffee, which I do every day anyway, and then I get to have some delicious, amazing broth. All right, so that's what I get to eat today. So needless to say, I'm sad. Now, I just showed you my lunch, and I can do that for one day. But if I had to do that every single day, be sad and not look forward to what I was eating, I would never make it, and I wouldn't stick with it long. And I think that's how a lot of us approach trying to lose weight or trying to get healthy, is we think we have to be sad and feel deprived about what we're eating. And I'm here to tell you that is simply not true. So we have to start thinking about this differently. And um, because if you don't eat what you love, you're always going to be searching for something else. And so you're going to eat all your quote unquote diet food, and then you're going to go eat whatever it is that you really want anyway. Now, if all you want is cake and ice cream and donuts and chips and nachos, we're going to have to expand our palate a little bit and try new things. However, I know you can do it because that's how I was when I first started Weight Watchers. So when I started Weight Watchers, I think I mentioned yesterday or the day before we were on the selection plan. 
And I was an avid tracker. I would journal everything. And so you guys, look what I did. I dug out. This is my very first Weight Watcher tracker. All filled out. Seven days. Okay. So my first, my very first day on Weight Watchers, I know exactly what I ate. And I'm, again, a, a rule follower, very obedient. I like to do things right. And this was called the selection plan. And you had so many boxes of each thing you had to check off. So I'm going to focus on the vegetables because guess what, you guys? I don't like vegetables. I didn't like them then, and I'm not a huge fan of them now, but I eat them. And so I had this dilemma. I needed to check off four vegetable boxes, but I didn't really like vegetables, but I wanted to follow the rules because I knew it would help me lose weight. So what was I to do? Well, I liked apples, iceberg lettuce, pickles, onions, and raisins. Those That was about the extent of the fruits and vegetables that I like. So I made that work. So my first day on Weight Watchers, for breakfast I had a small apple, uh, a cup of milk, two pieces of toast, a half a teaspoon of margarine, and a half a teaspoon of peanut butter. For my light meal, otherwise known as lunch, I had two ounces of tuna, two pieces of bread, one cup of milk, onions and pickles, a half a cup. That was my that was my vegetables, onions and pickles. One tablespoon of mayo, and then a half a cup of applesauce. The applesauce was my fruit. My main meal, or my, uh, what was that? That must have been my dinner. I needed some, oh, I had to have some fat. So I had one ounce of olives, one ounce of avocado, four ounces of chicken, lettuce and onion, again, for my uh, vegetable and two tortillas. So you can see I liked carbs. I liked my bread and tortillas. Um, I drank the milk because I had to, and um, I did what I could with the fruits and vegetables. So here's my point. There's something out there that you like. There is something, there, there is some healthy food out there that you like. Find a way to make that work in the, initially in the beginning so you're not sad that you have to go and eat broccoli. Like I hated broccoli. If somebody had told me that I had to eat chicken and broccoli, I wouldn't have made it very long. I would have gagged it down. But I made the lettuce and pickles and onions and apples and raisins work for, you know, the first few weeks. And then I started trying new things and trying new ways to cook things. and. Um, expanding again my palette if you will a little bit and now you know 25 years later i do like vegetables a lot more than i like fruit but i only eat what i like i only eat what i like i continue to try new things just in case my taste have changed just like i did for broccoli so i've hated broccoli my whole life so i just didn't eat it even though I knew it was good for me. I just chose other things that were good for me because I wanted to look forward to what I was eating. And that kept me satisfied and not searching for something else. But I would continuously try new things to see and try new ways to cook these other things to see if there was a way that I could, you know, add more variety into what I was eating. And so now I will eat broccoli if it is, um, roasted for only like five minutes. I don't like it mushy at all. I won't eat frozen. It has to be fresh, fresh roasted broccoli with olive oil and some salt. So I'll eat that. Um, but I guess my point is you have to look forward to what you're eating every single day or else you're just going to feel deprived and you're going to give up. You're going to give up and going back to eating the the ugly foods the foods that are not good for you the foods that make you feel like garbage you know what i mean so so think about that think about what it is that you could get excited about eating every day you guys i am excited to eat a grilled chicken tortilla wrap or a salad or um you know steak and potato and brussels sprouts i love those just as much as I'm excited to eat, you know, um, a cookie or something because I love it all. And I know that I'm only going to eat what I get excited about. So I always look forward to what I'm eating. And when I don't, 
that's when I know it's time to change it up. I'm also the kind of person that could eat the same breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day for a month. But then when that month is up, I'm thinking, I cannot, I cannot eat this once again. So I find something else to get excited about. But you guys, you don't have to feel deprived. You don't have to feel sad about what you're eating. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, I am what I was just looking at this. I think, oh, I worked at Mexico Lindo at the time. And that's why I was eating a lot of rice and beans and tortillas and chicken and salsa. I'm thinking, what the heck? Why was I eating so much, so much chicken and salsa? But I worked for a Mexican restaurant at the time. And that's what I had. Um, that's I ate there at the restaurant. So I made that work too. But on day seven, okay, let's see what day seven was. Day seven was two pieces of bread, carrots, tuna, milk, mayo, and applesauce. That was my breakfast. My light meal was an apple. And then my main meal was one cup of green pepper stuff, which my mom made it was like hamburger and rice and green peppers. And um, which I never ate the peppers out of it because I didn't like the vegetables. And then two pieces of light bread. Hmm. Not exactly healthy, but you have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. So start with what you love. Continue to try new things to expand um, and discover other things you love and always be excited about what you eat. Okay. So that's what I want your action step to be for today. No matter what you're eating, be excited about it. You can be excited about healthy food just as much as you can be excited about your sweets and treats. You just have to, you just have to, you know, make it work. You have to manipulate it into um, things that you're excited about and um, be creative, you know, be creative and try new things. So that's what your action step is um, today. Only eat things you love, find healthy things that you love to eat and try new things. Um, as always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I haven't had any new likes and subscribers for a while, so I need your guys' help with that. Um, I am starting that success challenge beginning after Halloween. I think Halloween's on a Saturday, so Sunday. So that Monday after Halloween, we're going to be starting our success challenge. So email me, reallifedawn at gmail.com if you're interested in doing with that, us doing that with us. It will be three weeks long and we're going to focus on our foundational habits that we need in order to be successful at whatever it is that we want um, out of our life and pray for me because this this is what i get to eat today so not excited anyway um have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow peace